And then, of course, the story coming into the game, and as it turned out, the story at the end of the game was the performance of Jeremy Lin in his return to Madison Square Garden, 22 points and eight assists. And Jeremy is with us via ArenaLink from MSG, your old stomping grounds there. Uh, and, Jeremy, you, you knew the hype accompanied this game and your return to New York. What were your expectations for the reaction and the game itself and, and what you would be feeling along the way before the game? Uh, I wasn't really sure, to be honest, um, but it was good to be back. I felt comfortable, uh, a lot of good memories here. And uh, going into it, I just kind of told myself, um, I'm going to go out there. I'm just going to be free. I'm going to have fun, and uh, I'm going to play for God and, and let everything else uh, happen the way it's supposed to happen. And, and once the game got going, both you and uh, James Harden, your, your running mate, seemed intent on getting yourselves into the paint. Penetration was a huge factor in the first half in particular. Was that something you talked about beforehand or just something that evolved during the game? Uh, we talked about it beforehand in terms of just being aggressive and um, trying to get into the paint, put uh, pressure on the defense, and then allow that to create offense for us. Uh, Jeremy, um, I was looking at the schedule for you guys. Uh, January is just an absolute monster of a month. Twelve yeah. of your 17 games are on the road. You guys finally broke through tonight. Uh, are you guys sort of gearing up for that in the next few games, to try and get you guys in a good rhythm, knowing that the last couple of times out on the road has been tough. You guys get this win. You want to start to build some momentum that way. Absolutely. I think, uh, you know, right now we're floating around 500, and uh, we need to make a push while we have uh, most of our games at home. And in January, like you said, it's going to be a lot of travel and a lot of uh, road games. And so uh, we need to really uh, try to find our identity and, and grind out some of these tough games. Well, Jeremy, we know you hadn't shot the ball particularly well uh, at the start of this season. Could this game, going back to a place where you kind of started your career, if you will, kind of ignite you and get you shooting the ball better and playing better for the rest of the season? Uh, I sure hope so. Um, <laughs> <laughs> There's no telling what's going to happen, but uh, for me, it's about staying aggressive. I think when I'm aggressive um, and, uh, you know, when we do a good job of spacing and moving the ball and, and sharing, uh, I think everybody's at their best and everybody's comfortable and naturally uh, more shots will fall. And so that's something that uh, we as a team have been uh, trying to build towards. When you signed up with the Rockets, you had no idea you'd be playing with James Harden, who uh, arrived just before the beginning of the regular season. Now more than a quarter of the way through the regular season, what, what have you learned about playing together that's uh, maybe starting to resonate on the floor for you? Uh, first of all, he's really, really good. I don't know if uh, <laughs> everybody else knew that, but uh, he uh, exceeded my expectations. Um, and then I think uh, the second thing is we're just learning um, to be able to complement each other. Uh, and, and there have been times where it's been a little tougher early in the season just uh, because we have never played together before. And so, um, you know, we're slowly getting there where we're becoming more com comfortable and uh, we're learning um, to really play off of each other and, and hopefully develop a, you know, a dangerous backcourt. Well, Jeremy, this is a, a question from the fans. How do you prepare yourself differently knowing that you were coming off the bench and no one know who you were when now each and every night someone's coming after you because they know who you are now? Um, I think, you know, that goes back to just skill work, uh, working on weaknesses. And, um, you know, the, the biggest thing for me is to, you know, drop a, a mock scouting report of myself and to kind of address what I could do to get better and then just working on those things. And then um, in terms of a nightly basis, you just got to bring full energy every single night. You can't take nights off because uh, everybody's coming after us. All right, Jeremy, two things before we let you get out of there. One, if, uh, if you're playing for God, does Kevin McHale know he's God's assistant coach? And then secondly, I just want to say, just as a fan, I'm just incredibly impressed by the way you've handled everything. From last year, everything that went on in New York, to the move to Houston, uh, you've just been an incredibly humble guy, a guy that people can look up to. And I know that 3D and I, as basketball fans and as former players, would appreciate playing with a guy like you because of the way you've handled that situation. So we just want to tell you we're very impressed. I appreciate it. Thank you for the kind words. Uh, before I let you go, so <laughs> a hug before the game from, from ex-teammates, from folks there in the crowd. I see hugs after the game from Tyson Chandler. During the game, he smacks you in the head with an elbow. Flagrant foul. What gives? 
Oh, I'm, I'm happy he did that because we got the ball back. I got to shoot two people <laughs> in the ball. So, hey, as many flagrants as you want, keep, keep, uh, you know, we, we'll, we'll, we'll take that. More possessions for us. You heard uh, that. But at the, Go ahead. Oh, I mean, we're just, you know, it's, it's friendly competition. I mean, he's been, you know, last year he was like a big brother to me and um, he gave me a lot of advice. He was always in my ear. And so, but when we're, you know, on a, opposing teams, we just have fun and compete. It's no big deal. Absolutely. It, it didn't seem like it at the time. That's so you heard it from Jeremy Lynn. Word to the NBA. The more flagrant fouls, the better. Hey, continue. Uh, yeah. yeah <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. Careful for what you wish for. Uh, hey, continued good luck. Nice game. Thank you. I appreciate it.